Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Baho Automation Lab. In this online video session, we are trying to learn how to take a screenshot with timestamp in Selenium 4. Okay, this is a very important concept while we are working with the real time automation project because every time we require to take a screenshot with the timestamp, we have create we will create one uh, separate method for it uh, whenever you we want to take a screenshot. For example, if script, any script get failed, we require to take a screenshot of that uh, particular window and we require to store that screenshot into the one folder or we require to assign that screenshot to our report uh, or attach it uh, with report and send to your respective team members. So this is the very important concept because uh, if you want to store a same file with the same name on the same location, window or any operating system will not allow it. So to overcome this challenge, we require to uh, take a screenshot with the timestamp or the uniquity in the world. So what is mean by uniquity? So uniquity means anything in the unique we need to assign with the screenshot name. Because uh, if, for example, if you take the screenshot of uh, like a Google homepage and we'll store that uh, uh, screenshot on the one particular folder with the google.png name. After that, next time the script will come there and uh, again take the screenshot of Google home page and uh, try to save with the google.png. It will window or operating system will not allow to save that uh, particular file on the same location. It will overwrite it or uh, otherwise it will not uh, save that screenshot again with the same name on the same location. Okay, so we require to overcome this challenge and Uniquity, uh, if you talk about uniquity in the world, so time is the unique in the world. Once time is gone, it will never come back. So we require to assign a timestamp with our screenshots. So, okay, so this is a very interesting and important concept while working with Selenium Automation real time projects. Okay, so let's try to do this practically. So, first of all, I'll create a one project uh, for class here in the same uh, package where we have already learned like relative locates and selenium multiple uh, uh, elements locators and all those things okay i'll give name as a screenshot this class name is a screenshot okay we'll define here like a main method okay we are working with the java only so i'll define here like a main method as a main uh, public static environment will uh, run this program with the main method itself and uh, first of all uh, we require to uh, launch our chrome browser or any browser whatever you want to launch but uh, we are working with chrome so we have already set up with chrome so i'll just copy this code from the last uh, session and paste it here okay so this, with the help of this web driver manager chrome driver uh, browser version we have set up and through that we are launching our chrome browser and with the help of this reference uh, variable of chrome driver object uh, chrome driver web driver object we are driving our entire script with this reference variable of driver right if you don't know how to set up uh, chrome browser uh, chrome driver with web driver manager so we have a separate session for this uh, please watch that session uh, in Selenium core tutorial itself and after that uh, come here okay so this is the david.git uh, where we are launching amazon dot uh, in sign in this is the business page of amazon and we are launching it in the chrome browser okay and after that if you want to take a screenshot of this particular page okay so how to take a screenshot this is the first concept in selenium okay how to take screenshot screenshot first of all we will understand that so first of all we require to take a screenshot of the page uh, so to take a screenshot we require to uh, pass here like a driver dot okay get screenshot shot as okay how uh, this is a output uh, what type of file this screenshot is always a uh, type of file uh, we, we are storing on the particular location so the output type of this uh, particular screenshot is file so we'll pass here output type dot file yeah and uh, we'll store this screenshot in uh, one file type of variable because this is the written type of this because we are uh, 
creating a file of that screenshot right so we will store this in the written type as a file and uh, we'll name as like a like amazon john home page home page screen okay we required to import this file from java io and after that we required to typecast this uh, get get screenshot as the uh, uh, as method uh, with uh, take a screenshot interface okay so we'll just pass here like a take a screenshot as interface and after that we required to uh, after that we uh, required to store this screenshot in some particular location okay first of all we have taken a screenshot with the help of this get screenshot and our output type of file and uh, store it in this amazon home page screen uh, screen variable right after that we required to store this uh, screenshot in one particular folder so i will create a one folder in this uh, in this project itself name as all uh, like the screenshots okay. this is the folder name we required to store this folder here uh, in the project itself and after that we required to copy that this particular uh, file into this folder so how to copy this for that we require to use file util okay file utils dot copy file copy file and we require to pass a uh, di directory and destination of that particular file so this is the uh, home page uh, we have taken screenshot so we will pass it here with this variable uh, we can directly pass here we require to copy this variable on the directory of like new we require to store this file in the file format so we could assign to new it and uh, we'll uh, assign this directory of this particular folder directly here okay so how to assign this so for that we require to pass here dot slash so dot slash will be responsible to give you a directory path of this particular project uh, folder till this particular project folder directly after that we require to pass this uh, folder name okay and after that we require to pass a uh, screenshot name uh, with like amazon is the uh, screenshot name and uh, whatever tire uh, format we want to store like i want to store it in jpg format so i'll just pass here like dot jpg you need to end this statement with semicomma so this particular statement will be uh, through some io exception so we require to throw this io exception and after that this file utils dot copy file okay this uh, will be responsible to copy this file to the new file of this dot slash will be responsible to path here till your project path and after that we have all, all screenshot folder here and in this screenshot folder we require to save this particular screenshot with amazon dot jbz name okay so this particular line is responsible to take a screenshot with the help of this driver object or driver reference object and this gate as a gate screenshot method will be responsible to take a screenshot and this particular line to responsible to store your screenshot in this particular folder okay so uh, let's try to run this program and see whether we are able to uh, take screenshot and uh, store this on this particular folder or not okay so let's run this program uh, so it, first of all it will launch our chrome browser Okay, after that it will open Amazon dot in business space and perfect uh, script is run successfully. So refresh this folder and here you go. We have successfully uh, captured a screenshot of this particular home page. So let's go to this folder and check whether we have uh, captured screenshot or not. So this is screenshot folder and yes, we have successfully captured screenshot of Amazon dot in sign in business page. Perfect. So this is how we are uh, captured the screenshot, but the concept is not end here. So main concept is here. Uh, we require to pass here a timestamp. Why we require to pass? Okay, timestamp because because uh, if you, if I run this program again or if I want to like uh, view details, uh, we will go in the details. Okay. So this particular screenshot is taken at. 2 15 pm so i will just copy this file and now if i want to paste it again in the same location it will save with a different name or if i want to store this file with the same name again on this same same location so window will not allow it because the same file is 
there is already file with the same name of the same location okay and uh, so what happened here if i run this program again and uh, if there is a again we require to take a screenshot of this particular uh, page so if i run this pro run this script again and if i want to take a screenshot of uh, again and say, uh, try to save on the same location it will never happen because window will not allowing with the same name of the same file on the same location let's see what happen is it will overwrite it or otherwise it will not store the screenshot on the that particular location so script run successfully okay uh, we will again go to that particular screenshot location and if i refresh here here okay this is the older file itself 215 pm there is no uh, another file here so if i want to uh, i want to try to save this screenshot on the same location again with the same amazon uh, .jpg name but it will, will not possible to overcome this challenge uh, if i working with the real time project we require to pass here as timestamp okay so how to pass a timestamp here okay so that we will able to store here a multiple name screenshot so we need to assign a uniqueness of the, to the your uh, like screenshot name okay so how to assign uniqueness so in the world the time is only unique okay the one time is gone they will no never come back again so what we have to do we have to assign here some timestamps so that window uh, will save all our screenshot with the different different name so how to assign it so first of all we required to create a uh, i'll just uh, like comment out this code for some time just uh, comment out so that we will check and run it again uh, like so first of all we will create a here calendar cal is equal to for example calendar dot kit instance okay after that we will assign this calendar with our date and time so we will create a date uh, name as a time is equal to this cal cal dot get time get time so this particular line is it is called, we require to import this date okay so java to class and after that we if i print this like a system dot out dot print align and if i print here like a time okay uh, so this uh, this will be written as a current time of your system whatever time you have, okay this is the unique time because uh, this time will never come back whenever we run it will change like for example if i run this the output is like uh, this one okay this is the current time of sunday april 17 whatever uh, the time you have uh, in your current machine it will be get return right so uh, again if i run this program it will change over time right so time is getting changed so it will store with a different name always uh, time will come is a different time instance right so we required to pass this time to our screenshot uh, name so that uh, the screenshot will be get stored with a different different name every time so how to assign this time to your uh, time stamp so first of all i will just uh, replace here like whenever we run we have some space here like uh, okay so it will not look good in your uh, like uh, for your screenshot screenshot name so what we have to do uh, first of all i'll just replace this uh, time stamp first of all we required to store it in a string so i'll store that this time in a, uh, uh, sorry time in a string so i'll give name as a time stamp is equal to uh, time whatever variable here we have dot to string we will convert this time into string and then after that we will replace this particular spaces from uh, that particular time okay replace we require to pass old character here so old character is like uh, we require to remove this colon and all those things so first of all i will re uh, replace this colon with a uh, blank data okay and then after that we will replace after that we will replace uh, that space um, and store it with blank in this particular variable right so now i'll uh, first of all this time is print after that system dot out dot print again this time stamp will print okay so let's run this program and check whether we are able to successfully remove the colon and all those things yes so this is uh, our time is printed here and after that uh, the colon and uh, after removing uh, spaces the, this is our time stamp will be printed 
right so i'll just remove this comment from here this code and uh, now okay so now if i will assign this particular timestamp to our amazon dot jpg folder so how to assign this so here we require to pass concatenate this string with timestamp and after that again we require to pass here and concatenate with dot jpg perfect so this is the timestamp this is amazon and uh, it will uh, uh, automatically capture this timestamp timestamp uh, and uh, it will store with amazon and timestamp dot jpg screenshot every time whenever we run this program okay so we'll uh, run it one two three time and check whether we are successfully able to take a screenshot with the help of uh, timestamp or not okay so just run it okay so timestamps entered here after that it should be launched a chrome tabs Perfect. So script is successfully done, right? So let's go to the this particular folder. Yes, and we are successfully able to take a screenshot with the help of timestamp. Okay, we'll do it with full screen, and here we can see uh, the screenshot with the timestamp. Right. So if I run this with a screenshot, whether we will check, yes, is Amazon in this home page. Right. Again, if I run this script, it will again store the screenshot with this help of timestamp. Okay, it's again open Chrome browser and uh, it will try to take a screenshot with the help of timestamp. So it will never replace the previous screenshot or it, it will uh, never disturb our previous screenshot uh, or uh, if no screenshot taken, that type of all the challenge will be reduced through this timestamp. Okay, again, the take the screenshot with the help of timestamp. So you can easily assign this screenshot to your report and uh, or whenever the script get filled. So you can uh, create this type of method in one uh, single class and assign this method to all your uh, scripts where you want to take a screenshot with the help of timestamp. Okay, so that's it guys. This is the very interesting uh, topic. You have to practice by yourself as well. Okay, if you have any doubt related to this, you can just comment out me, I'll give the answer. Okay, so if you like this video, don't forget to share and subscribe and sh uh, share to your friends so that they can understand the uh, all this concept practically in the real time environment with bowel automation lab okay so let's meet in uh, another session of this screenshot uh, uh, screenshot session itself because we have to learn how to take a full page screenshot how to take a screenshot of relative uh, like a uh, relative locators or locators uh, in selenium 4 so let's meet in next chapter till time have a great day bye bye take care